And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And we're very much looking forward to bringing you league action today. It's Frosinone and they take on Asconi. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Morrow. Well, wasted opportunity here. Would have been a decent chance, but offside the verdict. Marcello Falterano. Francesco Forte. Good physical play. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Moro has it. It's with Luca Mazzitelli. Sampirisi still on level terms moving the ball nicely what a genuine opportunity but it was squandered goal kick Morrow. Unable to keep the ball. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. It's a perfect challenge. Mazzitelli, Insigne, and very deftly cut out. Forte, great opportunity. Can he find the net? And there it is, the breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, that's really good awareness of the situation. He just places that beyond the keeper. That's a top-class finish. Back underway, 1-0 it is. Morrow. Determined defending. Forte. Strong play here. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play... So back underway here into the second half.
And a good looking pass. Illegal play and hence a free kick. Well, both teams have had substitutes warming up and now both will rely on their respective benches. Cross towards that far post. It might still be problematic. Superbly read and executed. And they know they need to stop him. Oh, could be. Oh, that is a majestic goal. Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. But should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Insigne Marcos Rodain It's with Luca Mazzitelli What a shocking pass really Dionisi now, Do they mean business on this occasion? And it might be Pivotal moment defensively Now he must favour the cross. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Defenders need to cover. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. But approaching full time, and this is wearing the look of Mission Impossible for the home side, Stuart. Well, I think they've been a bit unlucky today. They certainly haven't been two goals worse than their opponents. But in key moments, they've just been found wanting, particularly defensively. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Unable to keep the ball that time. Ten minutes to go then. Dionisi Forte Marcello Falterano and attempting the through ball and he had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball the goalkeeper tremendous intuition to win it back so one minute of stoppage time that's what the officials have said and there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, they weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.